We have uh, quite a few things to get through, so I'm going to ask you for a very brief answers. I want to start with uh, the bowman Gilfillan report that was adopted by the City Council yesterday. Do you deem this latest report as uh, being credible? Good morning, Bolian. Good morning to your viewers. Um, I think it must be very clear that I am speaking here in my capacity as the leader of the DA, not as the councillor in the city of Cape Town. I think when we reached an agreement with Mayor Dilil, we made it very clear that we are going to drop the internal charges within the DA, but the council must take its own processes further. And so the people who are empowered to speak on that are the councillors of the city of Cape Town. I think you can appreciate clearly that um, until late yesterday, this matter was a green item on the agenda, which means uh, it's an information that is privy to the councillors only, not to the political leaders. Mr. Matigazela, the DA governs the Western Cape, and that includes the city of Cape Town. As a governing party, do you deem the latest bowman Gilfillan report as credible? I haven't seen the report yet because the decision for that report to be made public was only taken yesterday evening by uh, the council. I think it's very important here, it Goli, to distinguish between the party and the state. No, no, no. I think it, it must be, we must distinguish between the party and the state. You have councillors in the city of Cape Town who were privy to that information before it is made public. All so right. I cannot then comment on the information that is confidential for the for the councillors of the city of cape town let's go back to the last report or to the initial report rather uh, that uh, bowman gilfillan uh, brought out which cleared Ms. Delil. did you welcome that report well again uh, you 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 want me to talk about the council matters i'm not a councillor in the city of cape town I was under the impression that I'm here to talk about the resignation of the five councillors. I cannot comment on what happened at the City of Cape Town Council yesterday. I'm not a councillor. So we are clearly distinguishing between the party and the state here. That matter is the matter that the councillors must deal with. All right, let's uh, move on then uh, from that particular issue. And let me bring up the issue of uh, security upgrades at Ms. Delil's home. A report, a municipal investigative report, cleared her yesterday. Do you welcome that report? Or is it again municipal matters? But that's exactly the point that I'm making. The councillors yesterday were discussing these matters, which were still, you know, a green item, you know, in their agenda, which means it's an information that is privy to the councillors only. So I am not in a position to talk about what was discussed yesterday because I'm not a councillor. I can only talk about the political matters as the political leader of the DA. All right, but uh, Mr. Matigizale, let me, let me do this. You will be aware as a governing party that there have been these issues that are around Mr. Lil and uh, the alleged uh, misdemeanors that uh, she may have committed herself into. I want us to listen to Mr. Sean August yesterday, and this is now in particular around them resigning, but more importantly, the issue of uh, this particular, uh, the, the security upgrades that have really wreaked havoc in the party. Let, let's listen to Mr. August for a second. The trailing door issue that went and was leaked to the media continuously was to the value of 140,000 rand. We have spent over 700,000 rand just on the investigation and the report says to us today that she is cleared of all uh, disciplinary proceedings and of all allegations. So that's just to show you that they are hell bent on tarnishing Patricia DeLille's name and we can no longer stand it. Your thoughts on Mr. August's assertions there? You would be, you would be aware that um, the council took a decision to pursue that matter. And, you know, it is disingenuous for Sean to get out of the council meeting 
and undermine the council processes and come and address the media about the matter that was discussed by the council. Now, I think for a very long time, uh, Ms. Dilil has been saying that uh, she wants to clear her name. And I think we made it very clear as the party that while we are dropping the charges internally in the party, we'll allow the city of Cape Town council, you know, to follow its own processes, which is exactly what is happening. And Does therefore, it make sense people to you, must though, subject Mr. themselves I'm sorry to that to particular you. process. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Does it make sense, though, that an investigation spends 700,000 rand on a matter that involves 100,000, which, by the way, she has not been cleared? No, no, it's not true that she's been cleared. It's not true. So it means you're disregarding you the municipal report. That then. decision of... No, 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 no. The decision yesterday that, that was taken, because I've got to know about that decision because it's now public. The decision was taken that the, the city of Cape Town must pursue the charges against Ms. Delil, which is a council matter. But, Bolly, we must not make this mistake. This is a principal issue. You can't then say just because I'm accused of stealing 2,000 rand, um, we may not spend more than 2,000 rand to get to the bottom of this. The issue is not about the amount of money, it's about the principle and the rule of law. So that and is the matter that the council must deal with, as I keep on saying. Come again? And taxpayers' money being used in the process. So, in other words, you are saying to me, if there are allegations that taxpayers' money have been misused, you are saying that the taxpayers' money must not be used to get to the bottom of that. Is that what you are saying? Mr. Matigizela, let's uh, talk about uh, what Ms. Delil said to ENCA this morning. And I want to quote her. She says, there are racist mm. tendencies in the DA. Do you agree with that statement? You know, it's very convenient for people to come up with this statement now, which I, I see this statement as really as a deflection, um, a sideshow. I am saying to you, Koli, Ms. Delil has been saying for a very long time, she wants to clear her name. The council has now taken a decision to pursue that. She must subject herself to the council processes and so that she can clear her name. Is it time for the party, Mr. Matigizela, to do an honest introspection about the alleged racism that exists in the DA? Ah, it's nothing new, Koli. I mean, uh, we've heard that several times before. This song is the song that is sung by people who are in conflict with the law. They come up with all sorts of excuses. I mean, we've seen people leaving the DA um, before, you know, citing, citing racism, but the DA has been growing stronger and stronger. So as I said yesterday, racism is a national issue that we are confronted with. And it would be remiss of me to dismiss that there are no racist people in, 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 in the party, if people have had that experience. But the DA itself is the party that is founded on the principle of non-racialism. Therefore, to paint everyone with the same brush because you have to face allegations against you is disingenuous. Mr. Matigizela, is Patricia Tadol still welcome as a member of the DA? Well, that's her decision. Um, I mean, you'll remember that... She's Mr. just insinuated that the party is racist. That, uh, she, that's her decision. I mean, she made it publicly that she's not going to campaign for the DA. Now, I, I find it very disturbing for me as the leader of the party that a person who claimed to be committed to the DA would make such a public statement. Will you keep her as so, a member then? From where I'm sitting, it doesn't... No, no, no. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like she still wants to be the member of the DA. They what are you going to, to do her. about it? Mr. Lil is going to be subjected to the internal processes of the city council, and that is what now currently is happening. We will await for the outcome of that particular process and then we'll take it from there as the party. Because we, sep we, we respect the separation of party and state. 
That is why we are saying let that process take its course and then we'll take it from there. I want to end this conversation, Mr. Matigizela, with uh, yet another uh, comment from one of the resigned members. His name is Tulane van der Stemmele. I want you to listen to him on these allegations mm -hmm. of racism in the DA and the ill treatment of uh, certain uh, members who are of a particular color. Let's listen to Tulane for a second. You're going to see on the campaign, on the door to doors, it's going to be our people going to be on the ground. They're going to be sitting in offices. Everybody's a strategic planner. He's a planning officer. But when it comes to the diligence of work, they will not be there. In essence there, Mr. Matigizela, Tulane is asserting that black DA members are the ones who conduct door-to-door -door campaigns when campaigning for the elections, while their white counterparts sit in offices as strategic planners. Is he lying? Ah, that's nonsense. Let me make a clear example here. We had a by-election in Titorens. We had a by-election in Naisna. I was there in both by-elections. The people who were campaigning in those by-elections were from all, you know, races. So it's very convenient for Tulani to come up with this nonsensical statement now because he's resigned as the member of the party. By the way, the voters of the Western Cape are rejecting these racist statements because in Tutorans, for example, we increase our majority from 49% to 52% and retain our vote there. So this is not something new, totally. And this propaganda uh, that people are trying to perpetuate about the DA, it's, it's really an old, tired song that's not going to work. So if uh, ENCA were to present to you pictures of, uh, DA, of the DA leaders campaigning, in particular members, are we going to see lots and lots of white people uh, campaigning and doing those door-to-door uh, -door campaigns? there are different strategies of campaigning. What we need to do here is to look at the results of each and every constituency head who are black, white, colored, who are coming from their constituencies. So for you to come to a conclusion that just because you see in a particular area black people campaigning, then white people are not campaigning, uh, campaigning um, then it's disingenuous. Because this is a propaganda um, that some of the media people are trying, you know, to push, which is not true. Well, Gosma Tigizela, thank you very much for your time, sir. He is uh, the leader of uh, the Democratic Alliance in the Western Cape.